Hey, farming peeps, how we doing? Totster 12 here. I'm sorry, I just had to do this. <clears throat> had to kind of come out of retirement for a day or two, maybe. Everyone knows I like to bitch. Well, here it is. We have six new mods today. Well, six mods. One of them is new that I remember we've never actually had in a game before. I say two of them, probably. Here, we have the Dutzfar 9 series. And attached to that Dutzfar, the Dutz, we have the Five Round Bales trailer. Notice there's only two in there. Also attached to that is the Tass Lizard. The Tass Lizard price is, or the pricks, what it says, P-R-I-X, is $4,600. Working with is one meter. It's a front cultivator used to cultivate. Well, no shit. Uh, the max working speed is 15 kph, and the required power is 90 HP. Horsepower. Author is 76 max, and Germain Dutors. 5.24 megabytes available for all platforms, and it was released today. It's in cultivators. Now, why in the hell would you want a one meter cultivator? Seriously, for the front of your tractor. What? The one you put on the back that is six, nine, ten, fifteen meters isn't going to do the trick. You have to have a one meter the front I don't get it maybe I'm not supposed to I mean it, it, kudos to the modders like I said always kudos to the modders but dude I don't get this but that's not the least thing I get trust me that one's cool compared to others <clears throat> and I love this if it worked better you see what happened to bell number two the other four bells is still over there at the shop because I got tired of screwing with them. There is the problem. I drove around that building five times, maybe six, trying to get this damn thing to straighten out. It won't do it. It's stuck. So the only way for me to get it out is to sell the bell picker upper Hootis trailer thingy majigger. It says it holds five, but it will hold six. As if you hadn't checked out DJ's video on this, uh, the mods today, go ahead and check DJ Goham's out because he does a hell of a lot better than I do. But he actually shows you that it will hold six, and it's awesome. He actually gets them in there. I couldn't do that. Didn't work for me. Uh, it's a category under belling technology. I'll show you in a minute. White bull modding, which kudos to you. You really have some awesome mods. What happened here? A 3.77 megabytes is available for all platforms. It was dropped today. It says you can load five bells, <clears throat> six. The advantage of the trailer is it picks up the bells directly from the ground, thus saves the time and it takes to load the bell with the trailer, with the loader. And I understand that, and it works. And I, I love the principle behind this. It's amazing. That's not going to work, though. Whew, we're getting jiggy with it. <laughs> I mean, it is neat. And you can, you know, control it somewhat. You know, oh, see, the bell's moving. The bells are moving. They either getting jiggy with it. It just needs to be tweaked and fixed, I'm sure. Yeah, I know you're having a fit. Get over it. Next, the Dutes. And I love Dutes for I like the colors of them. I like the name too. I think the Dutes for is cool. This is the 9 series. Uh, engine configurations are the 900 series which are 295 horsepower, 312 horsepower, or 336 horsepower, or the Warrior 336 horsepower, or the Warrior Plus is 396 horsepower, and you have the tire configurations of Trelleborg, Michelin, and Midas. Uh, it's $246,000 base price, 15.74 uh, megabytes. Uh, Belou, I hope I said that right, B-L-A-U-E-A -E is the Arthur. And it's under large tractors, and it's available for all platforms. Boom. Look at that. It's a beautiful tractor. It really is. 
And I love the Dukes Far. I just, I don't know. It's kind of one of my, I guess it's the name and the color. I love the green. It's beautiful. And it matches the trailer. That's just awesome. Next, <laughs> and I, I, I've, I've got to do it. I've got to. <laughs> it's a brick <laughs> house. And yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a brick house. And I actually love it. I think it's cool. Uh, you can't go inside it. It's the uh, the spawn point right here. Oh, and Giants, what the fuck? I can only put down one house per map. Seriously. In real life, we can own two or three or ten houses. Two apartments, a condo, and a beach, and a beach hut. But we can only, uh, only own a set of chairs and or one house in this game. What the hell? Come on. Y'all need to fix that shit. Y'all need to tweak y'all's game. Uh, it's under objects. Daniel X321 is the uh, author. The size is 6.76 megabytes, available for all platforms, and it was dropped today. The price is $120,000. Boom. Okay, now, with that being said, I have another one. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Wrong button. I have to run through here and sell that house. Oh, I can show you this one because we can't have two on the same damn map, giants. And I just so put that in the wrong place. So I am not walking around. I'll just rebuy it and do it again. Thank you. Boom, right there. All right. And this is awesome. I actually like this house. I like, I don't know. I really like this one. This one's cool. It's cheap. And it's cool. Single story. Single family home. Price is $7,500. Daily upkeep is four. Seven meters by 17 meters. It's seasons ready. Old, renovated farmhouse. Perfect. Perfect sleep option for the tired workers, which is me. Gamer HZS. Is the altar 11.33 megabytes uh, available for all platforms and it was dropped today in the mod hub so get it while it's hot boom open the door and look at this i love the floor plan hey the uh the author of this if you see this just send me the floor plans because i like this it's a simple single family home and i can't open that door well fuzzy all that kind of sucks. Oh, well. But I like this. Kind of cool. I'm digging it. When I seen DJ's video, I was like, oh, there's a toolbox. When I seen DJ's video, I was like, oh, I like this. This is cool. This is awesome. I kind of just like to have the plans to it myself. I like what that. I want to, I want to know what's behind door number one. So want to know. So want to know. Okay, duck jacking around. You can sleep in here. Let me turn on the uh, help window so you can see. You can sleep. Oop, but I can't sleep right now. I'm not tired. That's what it says. <laughs> it didn't know. I worked all day. But I think it's neat. I like the house. I guess that's the toity. Oh, we even got wood. Oh, look at the air conditioner. I love those air conditioners, but they don't last that long. So. I do like that house. That's kind of one of my favorites, and it's the cheapest, too. Well, per se, the chairs, but you have to actually have a house. So, trust me, that's not all of our mods today. This mod we got, that I, which I have saved for last, intentionally, and most of you already know it's out, that is a game changer. Let me tell you, this is going to make farming history. Yeah, you don't believe me. I know you're laughing. Let me tell you how it's going to make farming history. It received a trophy. It has won the prize. Kudos to the modder. And like I said, I'd be... I'd be I'd be ecstatic if I even made a Hastings or a Bell Spike that was published on uh, the mod website and it passed uh, testing. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it passed testing because Giants release is a turd if it passes testing. 
it would, I said that wrong. Giants would release a turd, and it don't have to pass testing. That's what I meant to say. A polished turd is still a turd. But anyway, the prize this one has uh, received is probably the worst mod release as of today. And I hate to say that, Victor Man, I apologize, the author of it. But what the hell are we going to use this for? It's a wheelbarrow for small tasks. Capacity is 120 liters. The price is 50 bucks. Now, it does move pretty damn quick. I have to, I have to give you that. It does move pretty quick if you can drive this son of a bitch. It dropped today. It's 0.75 megabytes. It's under miscellaneous. PC uh, at all platforms. Xbox, PS4. You get in it like you do a vehicle, and you take off. And you take off. Now, warning, here's a caveat. Don't turn too sharp. Because if you turn sharp, that's going to happen. And you're going to... It's just crazy. I mean, it works decent. Like I said, don't turn too sharp. You end up on your side. And then you have to figure out how to get the little son of a bitch back turned over. Oh, there we go. Okay. And to dump, you just R1, L1, and triangle. Or the top button, whatever it is on the Xbox. Never had one? Don't want one. Anyway, <clears throat> that's that's it. If you really want it, I mean, by all means, it's under vehicles and miscellaneous. Boom, right there, 50 bucks, hauls everything, and you can change the colors. So, I mean, you might be five chickens with this maybe the uh tractor oh i don't want to pass it i think i already have or i went oh there it is series nine boom there it is and the tractor rim color basics Boop. Ooh, i like that black that's sexy all right the engine set up right there and there and there, and there, and there. Goes back to the beginning. The Midas, the Michelin, and the Trelleborg. Kind of like the Midas on that. Boom. 51.5 for the Warrior Plus upgrade. And for the standard wheel setup, rear twin wheels. Twin wheels. That's kind of sexy. Ooh, that's really sexy. Wide tires and weights. And just wide touch. And wheel weights. So standard. There you go. That's your options for this. And it is a sexy looking tractor. I have to say. Really, really sexy. So for all the all the options there, uh, let's see, does the Midas give you Okay, so the Midas is two. So looks like the highest price you're gonna pay is three hundred and nine thousand eight hundred dollars. But look at that tractor. Mm. That's sexy. And at 396 horsepower. Bam! So, there's that. And if you just have to have the cultivator, the one meter cultivator, under tools, and of course, cultivators, and actually it's where you're going to find a cultivator at, or we would hope so anyway. I mean, I have seen a billboard sign put in maps on the Mod Hub. Giants. Way to go. <clears throat> there's the Tass Lizard 4600. And there's your colors. Oh, looks like the weights stay. So, kind of clashing in color there. And so does the so does the color of the wheels. That's going to really clash. But there you have it. Main color is 150. If you change it, so 4750 for the price. And if you want the bale lifter, the ground picker upper, Hootis thingamajiggy. Of course, it's under baling technology. Bam! Right there. And scroll it over. And it's somewhere. There it is at the end. Five round bell trailer, which actually is six for $9,000. No customization. And that's it. And your bells get hung up inside it. For $9,000. Which, like I said, it's cool. And I love the idea of it. It's amazing. I'd probably use it if it would work better. But not so much. So... And like I said, I hate to say it, dude, but what the hell, really? 
a wheelbarrow that's a vehicle that we have to drive and it wrecks and it don't hold nothing but 120. <sighs> really? Wow. That's all I got to say. Well, <laughs> really? <sighs> okay. I'm done bitching today, guys. I just thought I had to do this. I mean, kudos to all the modders, even the wheelbarrow and the one meter cultivator. Kudos to you. You got a mod out. You've done more than I have. I haven't even done it. Not going to try it. I'd be ecstatic as well if it did get published, uh, just like you probably are. So I don't want to take that away from you. But come on. <laughs> this is a one meter. Oh my gosh. Now, for a garden at the home, the one meter cultivator, probably. But I'm talking about a garden, like a 20 foot by 70 foot garden, home garden, not fields, not crops, not, yeah, I don't see that. Anyway, hope everyone liked it. Thumbs up, be appreciated. Thumbs down, just tell me why. If not, oh well, who cares? And that's the mods for December 12th of 2019. Until next time. And I don't know when that'll be. We'll catch you later. Y'all take care.